So I'm here in Home Depot because today is actually finally the day that I'm gonna install the chair rail trimming in my office space. So I am currently in the molding aisle. I'm just gonna take a look at the trim selections that they have here and decide what tray rail that I want. I've already measured out the full length of the room so I know exactly how much trim I need to have to make sure I have enough for my install. Um, yeah. Left my ice. Lucky nobody ain't home people wanted to try me. No, this is definitely the back of a cheap dresser. Back to this trim. We're gonna make a solid decision right now and just go with it. Um, I like I like that case on 376. See, this is the same that. door path. Yeah. That's the door path. This is what we need for the door. No. No. This no. They don't have the long piece. That, you're talking about this yeah. piece, right? The jam. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. So this is the trim that I am deciding on for the chair rail. This is just a door and window trim. Um, it's 74 cents a foot. A linear foot. So I am going to get about 30 linear feet just to make sure that I have enough um, for some errors with cutting. And then I gotta make sure they're all the same. Because I feel like this crack is just all over the place. Everything is much less. It's the same, right? One, two, three. If this is three ten footers, then it's thirty feet. Going to cut. We are going to cut. Miter box. I'm not doing the miters here. You might as well. You might as well. You might as well. What do you think, dog? What's up, dog? Well. Yeah, you might as well. You might as well. You might as well. Such a silly... corny contractor jokes. Yeah. You, you just need to make a book of... <laughs> that. Can you hold this mic? Yeah. Okay. Think soft and fast. Huh? Soft and fast. You this were trying to... Only because it wouldn't fit in my vehicle, you guys, so... I need a truck. Donate. Pardon you. Don't All right, don't be a superman. Yeah, look how he's jacking me up. You know how you fix that? How you fix that? Oh and just eat a whole eight of it. Ladies, I don't care what these guys say. Sometimes you really just need a woman for it. Okay, so right now I am looking for some brad nailers for the compressor that I have so that I can install the trim. I'm looking for 18 gauge Looking for 18 gauge brad nails. Uh, this is one inch. I think that should be good enough. Good enough. Enough. So. Let me get Mommy a little bit longer. Okay, so I'm going to try the one and one fourth. So the way for us to determine if the nail, if the nail is long enough to do the job, uh, what I'm going to do is simply just you know put it up against the trim so I know that this is the trim width 
uh, thickness that I'm installing. Um, and so with this one, I'm just going to pretty much, how did I do it? Okay, boom. So laying it like this, laying it like this, you kind of can gauge and see, you see this much would be what's going into the wall so definitely one inch was not long enough and the one in the one quarter is going to be just good for me okay so i need to take some inventory because i didn't bring a list and i want to make sure i get everything for my project so i've got the board here for the cabinet um drawer then i've got the trim out for uh, the chair rail installation i've got the nailers i've got some safety goggles because i've been at work without them um, so now i just need to get some clear coat spray paint for the ceiling on the dresser um, as well as some caulk for the nail heads once we do the trim out uh, so yeah we'll take we'll get those and then i think i should be good to go okay successful you the uh, home depot trip is done so now back to the home so we can get started on those projects.